Good morning. Happy Thursday. Happy best day of the week. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Shop Talk with Jamie and Leslie. Hello. We're back at Welcome. it for another week. Yes, we are. Lots of goodies this week too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't. I thought it might be a slow week, but got a pretty good spread yeah. in front of us. Quality, really mm-hmm. quality. <laughs> and you had a good week. Yes. You know what I did yesterday for the mm-hmm. first time mm-hmm. in my life? I returned something to the grocery store. Yeah. I just I, I I I'm actually thinking like I don't know if I've ever returned right? anything I just, to the grocery store. I don't know. I feel like I would combust from embarrassment and I didn't. I'm still here. Right. But I it was a principle because I had bought pickles uh-huh. and they were they were mushy. Like Ooh. not just like kind like not 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 crunchy, like literally mashed Mush. potatoes. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, hundreds were of, they still sealed? Like did you get the Yes. Weird. Hundreds of jars of pickles on the shelf, and I picked the one that thinks it's relish. <laughs> so, anyways, I returned it. I, it took, I feel, I had lots of courage. Yes, <laughs> you did. Return returned those pickles. We got um, a yogurt tub that what didn't have the seal in it. Oh, oh. And it was suspect. <laughs> I should have returned it, but I didn't. Right. I don't, it's so funny because it was, it's. I don't know. I mean, there's been right. instances, of course, where I've been like, well, that's unfortunate. I should return that. But it just seems like more of a hassle to be like, right. can I get like two ninety nine back on right. this bread? <laughs> like, I don't know. No. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Well, I'm glad you're still here. You yes. Know. Thank you. I didn't just like keel over. Right. About it. Yeah. Yeah. How was your week? It was good. Yeah. Short. I might. I still think today is Wednesday since Monday mm. we didn't work. Right. We were here. That makes sense. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Oh, it was fine. <laughs> there was nothing. I'm not an event. It was just. It was just a day. Yeah. Like I, we. I think we cooked some like mashed potatoes. Like just right. to like feel Thanksgiving yeah, yeah. like. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So since we're, we're, I'm all like off today, this morning I was like, why is the garbage out? Right. Because right. it's Thursday. Oh right, I got stuff I got to do at work today. <laughs> <It's> Thursday. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to. I come from a long line of quilters, like long, long, like we, and I always think about it that it comes from my mom's side because my mom's a quilter, my grandma, all that. Well, turns out, well, not turns out. I mean, it's always, I've always kind of known, but not really like processed. My great grandma on my dad's side was a very prolific quilter. Really? Yes. So this is one of her my great grandma blanche this is one of her creations that i just received so oh my god do we want to take it all the way out oh my gosh yes we do (gasps) so oh that's so beautiful um this is called a dresden okay thank (laughs) thank you (laughs) i would have never got there on my own (laughs) um anyway hand pieced and hand quilted by my great grandmother and so my that my grandma was um originally born in kansas and then they homesteaded as one does homesteaded (laughs) near jackson hole wyoming which is like i mean you hear about those people that walked uphill both ways right yes in the winter like she did because (laughs) they lived in like well i think the foothills but such a like hard life and yes. so her mom my mom is actually on hi mom good morning mom <laughs> i hope i'm getting this right but anyway um we'll do a close-up here um, it's so beautiful the, the colors word. are just like so gorgeous and the the amount of quilts that we have from her name was blanche are like like so many right but i mean what else does one do in the middle Home, of winter? Homesteading. Homesteading. <laughs> but yeah, like, look at it. It's like so... Like, it's just... The colors of it have a very, like, Jen Kingwell, like, yeah. kind of vibe. Like, it's just so, like, cheery and beautiful. Mm. And, oh, my God, what a nice thing to get. Yeah. But it's just... Mm-hmm. So I have special. another one that she hand embroidered that maybe I'll bring in that was for um, my great uncle that she made for him as a baby. And... His name has been passed down. I have my, it's my middle name and my son's name and my dad's middle name. 
And um, so maybe I'll bring that in too because it was hand embroidered. Super sweet. That's really but anyway, sweet. I just thought I would share that because it, it's just like, it's pretty incredible the, the work that. And each of those little hand stitches are so consistent. <laughs> what oh, we do it all day, that? every day. <laughs> but yeah. What a show off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that's beautiful. So the quilting's that's in so the beautiful. blood. It's in the blood from it's both really sides. Nice. You know, surprisingly, um, my sister, she's, we're still working on her. Really? Yeah. I just assumed. She did. No. It's our little secret. <laughs> Because we <laughs> our little secret, everybody. <laughs> we have our little notions company, so tight, not little. But, really? Um, yeah, she doesn't sell. She's made one quilt, um, a king size, so not to take away from so that. So she doesn't sew at all, or just sew no. quilts? No. Really? <gasps> this is fascinating. <laughs> I feel so, like I want to psychoanalyze. I know. This. Like, what does this mean? <laughs> but we're working on it. She's gonna make stockings this year. Oh, so, cute. Good project. So, well, good project. Yes. Okay, we better get them over. Okay. All right. Um, <coughs> Esther says it's so wonderful. So, yes, it is. We're still, and we still have a lot of them, so we're we're very thankful. Oh, Jessica's on here, too. <laughs> Good morning. Sorry, we've exposed you. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, there is an event on Instagram happening now called the Great Canadian Shop Hop. It's put on by... Um, the Modern Quilt Collective Canada. I think I got that right. I probably should have. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> seems right. we're, we're, partic- we're a participating shop in the Shop Hop. Like, our day is next Saturday. Um, so that's fun. But also you should go and, um, and just check out their Instagram. And then, you, you know, you can see all kinds of things. Such they a have- great way to discover different shops. Yes. Like, it's and, so cool. And artists or like designers like pattern designers and stuff like that they have features on there so that's fun too so yeah our day is next saturday Mm -hmm. okay are we ready for the new stuff let's do it (laughs) okay first where you want to start (laughs) hometown okay (laughs) hometown from tilda is here it's arrived and it is every bit as scrumptious (laughs) <laughs> As you would hope it would be from Tilda. So 20 pieces for the home, the whole hometown collection. So nice. The folk. Yes, thank you. Please, that one like is my favorite. Yes, the ladies. And especially on that color. This is called Family Gathering. And I don't really know if when this was designed, but it takes us me back to the times where we couldn't gather. Mm. And like it's just so beautiful. And the ladies. Yeah, family gathering. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I also, so in that same colorway, I really enjoyed this Mm -hmm. print. And I enjoy it in all the colorways, but I don't know, the whole like purple section of this line is just like so nice. The purple is, well, it's all called plum. Yes. It's not like a bluey purple, it's more of a reddy purple. And it's, yes. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. They're just, yeah. The they're same all great. print, but in the greeny teal. So very excited about that. So mm-hmm. I guess pre-orders are heading out soon. Yes, we're just, Allison will be folding to her heart's content today. <laughs> and then the pre-orders will go out. And we'll have a few bundles left for in-store. This is the blender that they, Tilda always has a blender with the collection. So this is called My Neighborhood. Little six-piece guy with the little houses. It's finished. very sweet. Just I love the so scale cute. of the houses. I think that's a great, mm-hmm. great And it has a little birdie on top of the roof. I don't know if you can see that there. Really sweet. So cute. But yeah, so that's My Neighborhood, the little blender pack. And then also, not new to us but or new out but new to out of hand is the chambray dots so we're already huge fans of the chambrays yes and now we have the chambray dots to go with i love them so much i love the color palette of them they are and the hand of them is just like the norm the normal tilda chambrays but oh my god i'm obsessed like 
totally is, obsessed with the dots. Is there anything that chambray is does better for certain projects than like a quilt and cotton would do? Like I don't think it does better. It just adds texture. Right. Because it does it has like a linen kind of texture, but mm -hmm. the weight of it is so just like just light and dreamy. Yeah. And actually as I was I was thinking about you and linings when I was mm. cutting very, these. Very good. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was like, oh, that would make a great lining. <laughs> great accent somewhere. Uh -huh. I was actually thinking, what bag could I get Leslie to make me that has some dots? Some dots. Because I really love, this one is pink because, you know, we all know I love pink. Do you? Uh -huh. But it would just get too dirty. But mm. then I was like, well, if you put the vinyl on the outside mm. and then this. True. Cover, you know, protect it. So that's the chambray dots. There Super are cute. 10 of them. Mm -hmm. Love it. And we got um, a lot of the solids back in stock. Ooh. Oh, that reminds That's exciting. Yes. Should we do the... We'll do the one question. Leslie asked oh, yes. on Instagram if anybody had any questions. One of the questions was, um, when will you be getting Tilda White back in stock? And... Also, the Fat 16th Scrap Packs. So, Tilda White is back in stock. It came in this week. And then the Fat 16th Scrap Packs. Allison is working on those Ooh. right now. Especially, she'll be doing it next week because um, Ron will be here, I guess, end of next week and all the following. So, when he's here, Allison can't be here. So, she's in the um, satellite packaging mm. department office. Otherwise known as her home. <laughs> the gal and who asked that, like her spidey senses were just tingling. Yeah. Like that's so, good timing. <laughs> and she has a ton of uh, 10 by 10 squares to make into the fat 16 scrap packs. So those will probably be like probably first week in November. Awesome. Sounds like Allison says, sounds like Allison's going to be busy. Yes. <laughs> very busy. <laughs> okay. Next on the list. Where'd it go? The calendar. It's right there. Oh. <laughs> Okay. All blends together. <laughs> yeah, look what's here. <laughs> the countdown calendar from Kylie and the Machine. Like, how sweet is that? Oh it's my gosh. Adorable. And so, if you don't know about Kylie and the Machine, they just design the sweetest and most clever and funny sassy. and sassy labels that you can add to your projects. And um, so, I think a little calendar is so fun. Yeah, so it's a little, like, basically an, what we call an advent calendar. And every day you get two woven labels. So they are known for using swear words, which is part of the reason we love them so much. Um, Pink and swear words. We just love it. <laughs> um, so there could be some swear words. In it. We, we have not peaked. We don't want to ruin the surprise. No. Um, if you are... Like, I love surprises, so I yeah. would not go and look at this. But if you are curious, um, they did a sneak peek on their blog. <gasps> they did? They did. So oh, if you I are like... That. Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> I will totally peek. Anyway. Really? Um, yes. Mm. Yeah. I have a question, though. Mm -hmm. Do you... Okay. I... Okay. 24 says start here. Do you normally start your traditional advent calendars on the 1st or the 24th? You work backwards. Yeah, I would start on the first. I always start on the first two, and then I saw that and was like, have I been doing it wrong forever? <laughs> what do you well, tell what we, us? What do you, how do you guys do? We do our advent calendars starting on December 1st. Yes. And they end on Christmas Eve. Right. So we just go in chronological order. Right. Whereas this, I think, is because it's, it's a, a count countdown. Down. But are advent calendars supposed to be countdowns? Well, I don't know. How do you guys do your advent calendars? I'm really like, I'm questioning everything. <laughs> Anyways, super cute regardless. <laughs> the pre-orders went out yesterday, so um, there are some left still, so they'll be in the store and online for the kind of cute. Great gift. I was just going to say. And, like, great price point, too, because I think it's, like, 30-something. Um, yeah, great price point and an amazing gift. Like, a great gift for that person who just, like, kind of has everything, right. you know? Yeah. Do they ever, do they do labels in there that are, like, exclusive to the calendar? Actually, I don't know that answer. Oh, okay. 
guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh, exciting new label designs. So oh. I would say yes. Okay, that's fun. Very fun. Okay. If I had read the packaging before. So yes, countdown calendar. Lots of things to read. It's fine. Okay, the, and then a couple new kits. The first one is a tumbler kit, Allison Glass. So how many? 135 Allison Glass prints in here. Um, and then just the little instructions. So literally all you have to do is sew. You just like flip them up and down and sew them. 14 rows of tumblers that are 18 tumblers wide. And the finished thing is quilt. It's like 82 square. So it is a big quilt. Allison says 170. Well, it's no, I think it was 270 total. See, like there's 270 tumblers and right. then, but in 135 prints. Prints. Right. There was a lot of confusion <laughs> about how many was actually in here caused by me. Um, so yes, 270, 135 prints. Um, and just beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's Allison glass. Like they like all a just whole work rainbow. so well mm -hmm. together. When I was like kind of leafing through it last week and just snooping, um, there was like some prints in there that I had never really noticed on the shelf, but right. like cut like that. Uh -huh. It's like, oh my God, that like little image is actually so adorable. And I would have never like appreciated it just looking at it on a right. mold. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's the Tumblr kit. Next on the list is the wreath felt. <laughs> Um, the sample is made by Allison. Thanks, Allison. It's beautiful. You it did is. a wonderful job. So it is a pattern by Krista Mosier. And it's, um, she calls it a sampler because I think there's three different blocks. You use the Creative Grids um, 60 degree mini diamond um, to make it. And there's, so there's like three different blocks and then you just repeat those. Or so I'm told. Allison can correct me. <laughs> Confirm, <But> Allison. Yes. <laughs> um, so the pattern and the ruler are sold separately. Oh, the binding. Oh, <gasps> isn't it cute? Oh, stop. And then some. <laughs> so cute. Just some flannel on the back because I love flannel on the back, especially, especially on, on a Christmas, Christmas quilt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then a little, the binding is separate, but. Um, it's, yeah, we did a little great. stripey, really love that. a little stripey binding on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, adorable. It's just so cute. It's just, I don't know, there's just something so welcoming about a Christmas wreath. Right. And so I don't, it just makes me feel very like, like comforted. Yes. You know? Yeah, I it's love it. It's really nice. I think it turned out really nice. Lovely. Thanks. And so kits. Yes. Patterns. Diamonds. The kit. The pattern and the ruler. Mm -hmm. I called it a diamond. <laughs> well, we all love diamonds. Let's be honest. Yes, it is a diamond. Yes, it is. It even <laughs> says it in the name. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> anything what? Else? Anything else? Oh, our other questions. Oh, wait. Other other burning questions. Okay. We another question was: Are we participating? In the 2023 Quilt Mania Mystery Quilt by Susan Smith, the answer is yes. We will um, be getting that up to sign up in the next couple of weeks. And we've just been adding a lot of blocks of the month lately, so we're just going to pause for just a minute, and then um, we'll get. And plus, I don't know all the details mm. about like fabric costs and stuff because um, it's going to be. Dutch heritage fabrics that come out of the UK. Mm. So that will be in the kit. So we just have to figure out all the, you know, the pricing and stuff, but it will be for That's coming. exciting. Yeah, it will be. Um, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really know who that was. I was literally just going to say, is, the, is she, she a designer of like fabric or designer of quilts? Quilts. Okay. Um, she's Australian. There's a lot of names. There's a lot I know. of people. <laughs> so I had to ask the experts around here. Not me. Um, Marilyn and Patty, are we, do we want to do this? And when I said Susan Smith, Marilyn, <gasps> we love her. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay. Guess I know that answer. Okay. <laughs> so yes, that will be 
we'll announce it here and in our email when we're taking signups for the next for the 2023 mystery okay then the next question was the best time to visit Calgary and out of hand I would say any day is a good day except Sunday to visit us because <laughs> we're closed closed <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the best day would be Thursday. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> That's right. Um, I would say... Okay. I really love Calgary in the fall. Yes. But that's because it's fall right now and the leaves are beautiful and the larch trees are turning and everything. Like, it's beautiful and we've had a great fall. Mm -hmm. So we've been really lucky. So fall is really nice and it, there's always a lot going in the store in the fall because everybody's getting geared up out of their gardens and into the store and lots of go stuff going on but summer is also a really great time to visit it Calgary is. because it's warm any time between <clears throat> the middle or end of June to the middle or end of October right I it's would really it's a sweet spot in between those months I would say definitely not Mid January to mid March. No, because you could get minus forty, and it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you like to ski or like enjoy winter. The sports. air will hurt your face, <laughs> so maybe not right. then. Right. Um, unless you're from a cold climate. I was and just you're gonna say unless you're it. from Ontario and you're like, I don't know, they're pretty warm over there. But when they get cold, it's real cold. <laughs> True. So anyway, and then yeah, and any time is a good time really to visit the store. Yeah. Because there's always something there's going always on, going always new things. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Thanks for your questions. Yes, that was fun. Um, and I would like to point out that somebody said that it was a good question about the advent calendar. Oh. They they thought it was like by date, so I would assume like Start at on one. the first, on the second, on the third. Yeah. But uh, maybe they just do it differently. In there's Australia. A, one hundred percent going to be a poll in our <laughs> stories today. And, well, and maybe they were trying to make it not religious. Oh, maybe. Just, mm -hmm. like, very neutral. Right. And just truly, you're just counting down. Whether right. you're counting down to Hanukkah or you're counting down to whatever. Because, you know. I like that concept. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Because there's nothing in here that is, like, secular. Christmas. Yes, yeah. So, um, that's maybe what it was. Yeah. You're just counting down to you something. You're just counting down. Whether that's you start today and you're counting down to 24 days from now. I love I that. Because you, you could. Yeah, you could start at whatever day you want to, really. Yeah. Okay. So I bet that's what it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. We figured it out. Okay. <laughs> they can tell us if we're wrong. <laughs> okay. Is that everything? I think so. Excellent. Have a good week. I'll see you next Thursday. See you next Thursday. Yes. Bye. Bye. Oh, right. Take a picture. I remembered this time.